Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining you how to construct the pentagonal columns in the system. Here, a pentagonal number H is 20 columns, H2 and H2 graph its corners. So, the corner is placed on the left side and it is on HP. So, that the plane surface makes an angle of 60 degrees with respect to HP. So, that there is a given inclination of 60 degrees with respect to HP here. The two edges contain the corner on which the angle makes equal inclination with uh, HP. When the edge opposite to this corner makes an angle 45 degrees to HP, so they are made, they are given 45 degree inclination and the edge opposite to this corner that is this DC. This DC is placed on the 45 degree line. And near to the observer, the observer will be here. So the edge is near to the observer. So we should draw the top three on front face of the plane lamina. So this is already done in the sketchbook. The same thing we are going to reconstruct it in the system. So first I have drawn XY line VPHP. Now I should construct a pentagon May and we should make sure that the corner is at left side. So first let me take this pentagon on the line diagonal. I start somewhere. The side, the side is 25 mm. First line I give 0, then again 25, angle 72, again 25, angle 72, into 2, again 25, angle 72, into 2, and finally we can just join this. But this diagram is not as it is. What we should do, we should rotate so that the corner should be at the left side. So take the rotation command, select this, click on anywhere. I'm, I'm making this edge straight. So the corner will be at the left side. Now I'll be measuring the points. Project each point. So this point is A dash. This point is B dash of B dash. B dash of B dash. And this point is C dash of B dash. So I'll take a line of this point with. I'll connect this. Now the next is you should draw the same line at an angle of 60 degree. So what I'll do? I'll, now what I'll do? I'll be taking the select command and select this entire line, including this line, because we need this point. Now I'll take no command, click on this and move it till it touches. Till up a certain distance, maintain some gap, place it on x, y, and z. Again, now you take rotation command, click on this uh, a dash and uh, c dash of b dash, rotate this at an angle of 60 degrees. That's all. Once we get this line, now you take the line, find 20 to this. Projected A dash to A dash, B dash to B dash, and C dash to C dash. Once we get that, now we construct by using point by thickness from this particular point to B, here to C, and from there to D. If we are not getting the point, we project from here also. From here to this point, to this point, and then finally to this point. Now again, 
plug the pipes. So once if you get that, no, finally it is a 45 degree angle. That means totally 180 plus 45. Now you can delete this thing, not required now. I'll take line. Thickness is 120. Angle is 180. 180 plus 45. And we know that we need to place the edge that is DC. This DC we need to place it here. So what we should do is take select command and select the entire object. Now you take move command. Click on any one of the point of this edge that is D. I click on the D and then I'll place it here. Again, I take rotation command. Click on the D at the pitch point. See at the moving point. Place it on the line exactly. So that is how you get this. Then again, you need to project the points. B to B. To B. A to A, B to B, then B to B, B to C. After getting those, you can take line again find the thickness. You can mark. You can mark first. You can mark the points. It is A. This point is C. This point is B. This is E. This is D. Now I just down A to B, B to C, C to D, B to E, B to A. After getting that, then you can just join to show that projection line. That's all. After constructing this, now wherever the dimensions are necessary, you show those dimensions. And wherever the angles are necessary, you show those angles. That's all. This is how you should construct the tag for the filter. Thank you.